Hey guys, welcome back to another one. Look at the muscles on you. I am all loot. Alright, so where next? Let's do skin grad. Because I forgot about these two counties over here. <laughs> I trust you have a good reason for interrupting me. <laughs> Can I have a recommendation? I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. I'm rather busy, you understand. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Erthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? Yeah, I'll do it. Excellent. I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he borrowed. You might want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Let me know when he's back, and you'll have your recommendation. Have Erthor Where's see me Erthor? when he gets back, I haven't associate. seen him lately. Yes? You know anything about Erthor? He hasn't shown up here in a while. I assumed he was still out at Bleak Flat's cave. Where he usually stays. Bleak Slack Cave. I don't remember where it is, honestly. I know it's west of Skingrad. Druja could probably tell you. She has a better memory than I do. Take care. Fresh. Well met. Do you know where Bleak Slack Cave is? It's just northwest of Skingrad. Here, see it on the map? That's where Erthor wound up. After Adrian told him he couldn't practice in the guild hall anymore. She probably doesn't even remember that. <laughs> you might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. Good luck finding Erthor. acting even stranger than usual, don't you think? No, sir. I... You're here about that recommendation, I presume. I'll need to speak with Erthor before I write it. Do you remember Bleak Flat's cave? Oh, I do remember telling him to go there. Mm. Well, we'll just have to do something about that, won't we? By we, I mean you, of course. I have something that may help. It's a basic fireball spell, in case you need to defend yourself. I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. Yeah, I don't think I'll need that. This is a thought that counts. Oh no, not him. No! No!
friggin... Man, my game is glitching like crazy. I probably have enough fame for this, actually. Fortify Magicka, resist magic. Not bad. gone? I can leave the cave? Oh, thank you. I'm ever so grateful. You're heading back to Skingrad, aren't you? Could I maybe come with you? It'd be safer, I think. So, what do you say? Sure. Come with me. Oh, thank you. You're just too kind. I can't wait to be back in Skingrad. Safe and sound. Hi. What's new with you? I've heard the... Thinking by now he's talked to her.
hope I can help. So can I have my recommendation? I've spoken with Erthor, who seems to be all right. Good work. I'll see to it that your recommendation is sent in as soon as I have a free moment. As I've said, I'm rather busy. I'll get to it eventually, though, I assure you. That's assuring. Take care. <laughs> My All right, next recommendation is in Anvil. She is. Hello, Associate. To earn a recommendation from me, you need simply prove you are able-bodied and prepared to learn something in the process. Sounds good. Unlike some frivolous tasks you may be given at other guild halls, this is a serious matter and has consequences. Are you prepared? Yep, I'm ready. Then allow me to explain the task. The Council of Mages has entrusted me with resolving a situation along the Gold Road. Several traveling merchants have been found dead along the Gold Road recently, with even more missing. The Council has asked that I put a stop to it. You are going to help me do so. Go on. We believe the killings are the actions of a rogue mage. Battle mages have been sent to the Brina Cross Inn, the only common link between the victims. You are to travel north to the Brina Cross Inn and speak with Ariel Gerard. She will give you further instructions. Goodbye. All right. Uh, this way. Greetings. What exactly do you require of me? Hello, stranger. What can I do for you? Karel has sent you, as you know. Go and speak with Kristoff. Rent a room for the night. Once you have your room, I will meet you there. If anyone asks, you are a traveling merchant. Nothing more. Do not say otherwise to anyone. No, friend. I'm afraid I don't know the way to Shaden Hall. But good luck in your travels. Please excuse me. Alrighty. Go ahead. Welcome to the Brina Cross Inn. Can I interest you in something to eat? Or perhaps a bed for the night? 
Yeah, I'll have a bed for the night. Let me guess. Traveling on business? You don't look like you're out for a stroll. I'm a merchant. Ah, yes, thought so. We get many of them traveling through here. Oh, well, we used to. Haven't seen as many lately. What with the, uh, well, you know, the murders. I don't like to talk about it much, as it's bad for business. <laughs> you know, the murders. At any rate, would you care for a bed for the night? I'll take it. Right then. The bed is just upstairs at the back of the inn. Sleep well. You too. Pardon me. Did I hear you say that you're a traveling merchant? Yeah, that's right. Don't you worry, what with the recent killings and all? I'd be ever so scared if it were me. I haven't left the inn in days, just in case. Well, you take care of yourself. I'd hate to hear about another senseless death. Good luck to you. That's not suspicious at all. Greetings to you. Good morning. Watch for minotaurs in the forest. Aggressive beasts. They'll tear right through your armor, too. Good to know. Farewell. Coming or not? There she is. Hello there. All right, General, it General. should be safe to speak here. Once you've rested here, you need to continue along the gold road heading east towards Kavach. I shall be following out of sight, along with a fellow battle mage. Make no attempts to speak to us. Trust that we will protect you. Should you be confronted by this cowardly mage, do not hesitate to protect yourself by whatever means possible. Once the mage has revealed himself, we will step in and settle a matter quickly. Now get yourself some sleep. You'll need to be well rested. Don't have to tell me twice. There, good enough. I spent the night at the Brina Cross Inn. I need to follow the gold road towards Kovac. And be wary of anyone along the road. Simplicity itself. You've got my ear. Let's hear. You've got my ear. Give it back. Your journey ends here, traveler. I'll be taking whatever you're carrying. After you're dead, of course. I do hope it's more than the last few had. They were most disappointing. I'm just warming up to you, pathetic work. Get over here. Need to talk to Carahill and Anvil and inform her that Caminaldo has been defeated. She has a key on her. I wonder if there's a chest somewhere. Oh well. It's probably just her room. Jumping so high. <laughs> Love that spell, Skuma High on Crack. Wasn't she dead, like, a couple videos ago?
So, what of the rogue mage? Has he been found? She is dead. A she, you say? And she's dead? Well, Ariel and Roliand did what needed to be done. No more innocent deaths. At least for now. You have done well enough for yourself. I'll pass along my recommendation to Ramanus. Though I must say, I doubt it will do you much good in the end. You'd be surprised how easily they forget about the little people. Wow, okay. Huh. Bye. <laughs> Optimism. All right. Last but not least, I think. I think this is one of the bigger quests. The rest are fairly small compared to this one. I'm listening. Yeah, normally if I didn't have uh, Frostcrag's fire, I'd just go through this really quick and unlock the enchantment altar. These don't take too long. You seek wisdom from me, child? Ah, oh, no, you seek words. Words are difficult. They come and go. The voices, though. So loud they are, they drown out the words. Without my amulet, my stone to lock the voices away, the words will never come and stay. Would you lift your hands to help another? To help me find the words? Yes, I'll help. Then seek Agatha, child. She will see the path and set you on it. I must rest. Farewell, child. Where is this Agata? There she is. Yes? Is there something I can help you with, Associate? I spoke to DeGale about a recommendation. I take it you've spoken to DeGale. Then you know she is not well. She has visions, for lack of a better term. While they used to be helpful at times, they have lately become problematic. There was an amulet a family heirloom that she wore to suppress and sometimes focus the visions. She's lost the amulet, and so has lost control. She spoke to me about a stone? I'm surprised she discussed it with you. She wanted to keep it from the others. I should speak to her about that. Yes, her seer's stone is missing. It's the one thing that has kept her visions at bay, and without it, they're nearly crippling. She can't function. We haven't yet spoken to the others, for fear they would be less than accepting of her situation. Perhaps it is time, though. I will continue to tend to Gale. Can you speak with the other mages and find out if any of them have seen the stone? Sounds good. Bye. Speak to Falkar. Er, not Falkar. Falkar. Go ahead, please. Was she bros? Have you seen the seer stone? Well, well. Word is finally spreading, is it? They won't be able to keep up this facade much longer. Yeah, I know all about it. I overheard Agata and Dagale talking. And you know what? I'm glad it's gone. Why should we be forced to work under someone who's only kept sane by a magical trinket? Haven't we sacrificed enough already? She shouldn't even be here anymore. Hell, the only reason her father ever fit in anywhere is because he kept a low profile. And look what it got him. Years of service to the Empire, and not even a tombstone over his head. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> At least he was able to maintain the illusion of sanity. I know. I get way too fired up over this. It just annoys me that she's in charge of the guild when she's clearly not fit. That's all. Alrighty then. Be seeing you. Hello, Associate. That's not suspicious at all. Yes? 
Is there something I can help you with, Associate? So... So Calthar overheard us, did he? Yeah. That explains why he's been so cranky lately. But we never said anything about DeGale's father. How would he know anything about that? If there's some sort of connection between the Seer Stone and DeGale's father, I don't know about it. Maybe if you ask her, it will jog her memory. In the meantime, I'll keep an eye on Calthar. You do that. Farewell. You seek more from me, child? It is as I have seen. I know what you would ask. You would bring light to that which is in darkness, bring silence to the voices so loud. I know where you must go. Blood brand blue and dragons flew high. Under broken towers and broken bodies it now lies, waiting to be found. What was my sire's must be mine if you would have the words you seek. You must go and find his stone. Alrighty then. Ah. Let's go to Fort Blue Blood. I've arrived at Fort Blue Blood. The Gale's father should be buried inside. It's a fight you want. It's a fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. That was pretty freaking great. Guys didn't even draw their swords. I guess it was nothing. Keep telling yourself that.
kind of love that spell. Oh, I did end up taking him out. Sweet. Thought I had missed. I found the amulet to Gale needed. I should return it to her immediately. Look, uh, uh, just stop right there, all right? I can't let you leave with that amulet. I need it right now. Why do you need want the amulet? I took the other one, and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? Uh, yes, once she helped me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Why are you trying to ruin everything? I defeated Calther, who is attempting to manipulate Degale. I need to give this to her and form her. I need to give her this information immediately. Sorry, Calther. But you suck. Alright, let's get out of here. has changed, child. The voices still cry out, and I am unable to hear. If they can be sealed away, our work may begin. <clears throat> Here's your stone. Found it, have you? Silenced the hands that betrayed and took what was mine? Then let me have the stone so that the voices can be shut out. Ah, oh, child, I thank you for helping me. 
With the voices quieted for now, the words you seek have come to me. You shall have my recommendation. Though I must warn you, I've seen things in your future. Things which may be, and things which will be. It will be up to you to decide the fate of many. Life and death are strange things, easily manipulated, and both will be altered by your hands. Cool. Your time has come. The Arcane University needs you, child. Raminus Polus waits for you even now. Great things will befall you. There will be trials, but you will prevail. You must, for the good of the guild. Be seeing you. Alrighty, so we have all the recommendations. So I think I'm going to end the video here. If you enjoyed the video, press the like button and subscribe. Peace.